from LA Late News headquarters in Santa Monica. This is Mornings LA Late. It's a big morning of Mornings LA with incredible great news about your fourth stimulus check update of 2022 as two fourth stimulus checks have landed. A $6,500 fourth stimulus check shall be got it. I'll show you how to get this big $6,500 fourth stimulus check in this recording. A fifteen dollars to 80000 dollars fourth stimulus check landed and an MSE check of $24,000, two months, 12 months, about $2,000 a month. It's huge. We're going to go over all these incredible A, B, and C checks in this recording and why the members of this channel have done so well over the last year and a half. Then we'll be turning back to the Build Back Better Act, a new push underway to get it done in the month of April. We'll go over the latest details on that front as well. Then we'll be dealing with the situation unfolding about six stimulus, an SSDI and that SS300. We're going to go over what the j Powell is doing with those inflationary numbers and whether he will spring down the inflation or not, and whether Joe Biden will make that swap and call it to inflation or not, and then what that means for your benefits. Huge news on a big morning broadcast from Santa Monica live on air for April 19th, 2022. Then we turn to back to six stimulus, the biggest stimulus package of a generation. That is the wheat, the corn, and also the oil situation across the board. We have new details today from Jamie Dimon, head of JP Morgan Chase, that gives us an indication of where this economy is going at the end of the year. Plus, I'll give you my analysis as we look at the recessionary concerns, the inflationary concerns, the housing market implosion, and the downturning of the other industries that signal we're heading into potential recession. Plus, we have new guidance today about what the White House is now pivoting for April 19th on its domestic policy. As Americans are getting a little bit tired of hearing too much about Ukraine, they want to see more domestic agenda from the White House. Of all those incredible details as well. Plus, the great news as student loan debt has been forgiven. Oh, boy. The President of the United States has done a lot of executive action in the last few days with no less than two stimulus checks, four stimulus checks landed. I'll show you how to get those big checks. Student loan debt forgiveness forgiven by the President by executive action. But the White House team is now telling the president today, you need to do a little bit more on, a lot more on that economic agenda. That's big mo news for you because that's your money. The incredible details start right now because the toast is toasting, the butter is buttering, and it's a big, bold, beautiful day on mornings. And good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a beautiful day. For April 19th, 2022, it's a beautiful day across the board, and it heated up a little bit here in Southern California. But it's heating up big news for members who have gotten those big checks. Have you become a member? The membership links at the top of the channel, the pinned comment, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. Become a member today because that's how the viewers of this channel are cleaning up with check A, B, and C. I'm going to go over some of the success stories in today's video and how you can get those huge checks. Then we'll be turning back to the Build Back Better Act, new indication that the White House may be back on point to getting that done in the next 30 days because guess what? The White House economic agenda is front and center as we go into those midterm elections. I have breaking news today on that front today. Then we'll be turning to SS300, the swap of your benefits from COLA to inflation. But where's that inflation today? We have a lot of details on that breaking news of this morning. Then we have six stimulus, the latest stimulus package that overlaps with third and fourth. It is to battle recessionary concerns caused by Vladimir Putin. We'll go over all that data as well. Then we have new economic data that impacts your wallet. I'll go over the recessionary pressures. Are we going to recession later this year or next year? We'll go over the housing market. Is the housing market downturning or has it already? And then we'll go over the auto industry and also your wallet. A lot of breaking details this morning. But first, let's start with the Build Back Better Act. Tonight, we'll go over more about this in detail in prime time on America's most watched show for financial news in prime time, evenings LA, 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. But let's remember that the Build Back Better Act bill, which is currently in the Senate, has about fifteen dollars to $80,000 of checks in there across three clusters and three add-ons. But there's a surprise today as well. Let's look at those incredible checks across the Build Back Better Act. It's important to remember that there is about fifteen dollars to $80,000 of checks in there just to start. 
Now, in that first cluster, there is so much money. Remember, fifteen to eighty thousand dollars across the Build Back Better Act. In that first cluster, we have hazard pay and elder care. One more year, the earned income tax credit for central workers. Huge, great news. Four thousand dollars of elder care. Great news, got it in there as well. Four thousand dollars of care for young children. Thirty six hundred dollars of the CTC. One more year. Yes, that's great news. Five hundred fifty dollars check for the college students. Even better news for them. And then twelve thousand five hundred dollars for the purchase of a new electric vehicle. Plus. They got in their money to repair your home. If you live in a low-income community, look at these incredible checks in that first cluster. Remember, this is the Build Back Better Act. It is in the it is a bill. It's currently in the Senate. It's not law. What is law is four stimulus checks coming up later in this recording. The first add-on of checks comes from Maxing Waters. Just a little bit less than $25,000 for the purchase of your first home. This is money given from the federal government to the seller in your name at the time of escrow. How do you get this big check? It's coming up tonight on Evening's Allied at 5 o'clock. Tune in then for that new show. We'll go over the details of that big check. And now, the second cluster of checks has some great stuff in there as well. In that second cluster, what do we find? We find in that second cluster the paid leave and the home weatherizing money. Well, let's look at that paid leave. It is $70,000 or more per year than your annual salary. Then you get $1,700 a week. If your annual salary is $35,000 or more per year, you get $800 a week. If your annual salary is $15,000 or more per year, you get $500 a week. Now, W-2-1099, you get it. If you don't work, your son or daughter does work, they'll get the check for the household. That is paid leave. How much per year? About four to $6,000. So it's a lot of money. It's really good news. Now, when we look at the second check in the second cluster of the Build Back Better Act, what do we find? Home repairs to weatherize your home. That's in the House bill, the Senate bill, or is it? Pens up. Exam over. <laughs> No, it's not over the exam. That provision in the second cluster of the Build Back a Better bill is law. It's law. The President of the United States took it out a few days ago, and he made it a law. Remember, there's ways that things become a law. If the Congress votes on it, or the President does it by executive action, he took it out. He made it a law. A $6,500 forced civil check has been gotten by viewers of this channel. Countless viewers of Shell have gotten it, and it's one of two four stimulus checks that was taken out by the President of the United States. Let's look at that check right now. That, of course, yes, is your check A. Check A, taken out by Joe Biden on March 31st, is a $6,500 home weatherizing grant check. Catalyst viewers have gotten it. Other viewers have gotten their applications in, and it says approved. How do you get that check? It's coming up in just a second. Get ready to take notes as well. Now, the other great news is that the second check was taken out of Build Back Better Act, also made law by executive action. It's check B, a fifteen dollars to $80,000 check taken out of Build Back Better Act. It is law. Four stimulus check. How do you get it? It's coming up in just a second. Let's go back into that Build Back Better Act. So in that second cluster, we had in there the huge money for the paid leave that stays in there, the home repairs, weatherizing, and now taken out. Let's go that second add-on of checks, a little bit less than $250 billion. Ooh, baby, that's in there. That is free home health care for seniors and people on disabilities. Let's go now to that third cluster of checks, seniors' checks, farmers' checks, independent contractors' checks, and, the, and also the nutrition checks. But when you're talking about those seniors, lots of checks, dental checks, vision checks, lowering the eligibility age of Medicare check, hearing checks, and the Medicaid gap fix that will provide a workaround plan for uninsured people in 12 Republican holdout states, which is part of the question when we're talking about adding checks to the Build Back Better Act. The other checks they represent they would add in there are MSC, baby, monthly IRS stimulus check. These are checks sent out from IRS to you the same way a third stimulus check was set out. So says the senators. The senators represent they're going to add in MSCs. Who gets them? How much? Let's go over some of it. We have more about this tonight on Evening Delight in prime time. They represent that if you got a third stimulus check, you would get a fourth the same way. Single individual, $75,000 less, you get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, you get as well. Double it. Family of four, you get as well. Quadruple it. And if you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, you get it as well. Great news. How much are these MSC checks? They represent $2,000 a first month, $1,000 thereafter for up to six months. You can do the math. That is $7,000 on the high end. Over six months. 
But the great news is you do not have to wait for that for stimulus MSC check because it's law under third stimulus. An MSC check has been sent out, sent out since early 2021, sent out to the viewership of this channel who have gotten it. Viewers have gotten an average of 12 months, $2,000 a month, which is $24,000. The countless viewers have actually gotten even more than that. Many viewers have gotten over $150,000 from these MSC checks from this channel in the last year. The countless viewers have tracked it at about $45,000. Name after name, day after day, thousands, thousands and thousands of viewers have gotten in these massive checks. So how do you get them? Stay with me. I'm going to go over that check C in just a second. But first, if you haven't become a member, now's the time. Become a Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Casino VIP. The link's at the top of the chat or under the video's description. Then get that newsletter Monday through Friday that goes over how to get these big checks, which I'm going to go over in just a second. Where is this U.S. economy right today? Well, we're trying to figure out where that inflation is. Because Joe Biden promised... In his presidential platform, not in his campaign platform only, in his presidential platform, that he'll swap cola for inflation. And that swapping of cola for inflation is great because guess what happens? If inflation is currently 8%, that would raise your benefits $200 more per month, not just this month, not just this year, but lifetime. Because once your benefits go up, they never go down. Then, if inflation tracks at 4% later this year, that would be another $100 on top of that. That's SS300. So where are we today, and what is Joe Biden doing with this as well? Let's go over the analysis of it across the board. Joe Biden needs to make that phone call to the Social Security Administrator head to swap that COLA for inflation, because that's great news. Once he does, he would lock in $200 more per month if it's right today. And if inflation is 4% later this year, another, another $100 on top of that. What is Jay Powell doing? And what is Jay Powell not able to do but say he's doing? <laughs> Let's analyze that situation. You know, I call it like it is on this channel. So if something doesn't work, I'm going to tell you it's not going to work. And what doesn't work? j Powell and his push to get inflation down. j Powell, he's head of the Federal Reserve. His job is to bring inflation down. The way he does it is by raising interest rates. The two choices, quarter or half basis point, half is more aggressive, when every meeting every month, the FOMC meeting once per month. And he did a quarter in the month of March. Then in the month of April and May, I predict he's going to do half and half. He's saying his Fed governors, like Boulard, who simply doesn't get his, uh, he doesn't really understand what he's doing ever, <laughs> and Daly, who's something much of the same, says that we need to do a half basis point for, you know, six months, eight months, maybe the end of the year, maybe the next year. Uh, note to Boulard, note to, to, uh, ju uh, to, uh, uh, the head of the Federal Reserve, Jay Powell, don't work. Don't work. What is going on? Jay Powell's ability to reduce inflation by raising interest rates will not work. There is every single day that passes another Wall Street analyst says the same that I've been saying for now two months. Why? Why is that the case? Because inflation this time around is caused because of supply chain disruption. And if you, as the head of the Federal Reserve, don't have anything to fix supply chain disruption, then raising interest rates just raises interest rates. It doesn't reduce inflation. Let's do the SS300 analysis for you on this front right now. This is good for you on the SS300 because if j Powell cannot reduce inflation, then you're locking in that $200 more per month. Where is that inflation right now? Let's go over the analysis. That inflation is likely 8% right now in April. And guess who's gotten this right Every single day since middle, early last year, as the channel approaches its second year anniversary, April 25th. Last year, I said that the inflation rate was going to be 8% in December 2021. Jay Powell said it wasn't. It was going to be temporary. It's going to be 2 to 3% coming back down. I said no. 8% December and not temporary. I was right. January, I said 8%, not coming down. I was right. February, 8%, not coming down. I said I was right. And then in March, I said it's actually a little bit probably hotter, higher. Was I right? I was right. Last week, the CPI, the Consumer Price Index number, was released. And guess what it showed us? It shows the year-to-date numbers, you know, comparing to last year today. I'm not worried about that one. I'm looking at the current February to March. What happened between February and March? Well, energy prices had a 11% inflation. Ooh, 
In one month? Yeah, in one month. And then a lot of the food went up 3% in one month. That is a massive inflation. Remember, that is one month. So we're not talking about 8%. We're talking about an extra 3% on top of 8% in one month. Yeah, that's just out of control. So what was the nation, the, uh, the overall number? The overall number was about a, a third of a percentage point, 0.3%, per, 0.3%, less than 1% price inflation. So that means that we're at least at 8% right now, maybe a little bit higher. Good, because if Joe Biden makes that swap and cola deflation right now, you'd lock in that $200 more per month. What about the end of the year? The end of the year, I don't think Jay Powell thinks himself that he's going to be able to get inflation down to what he's now predicting at 1.9%. Oh, come on, Jay. You ain't going to be able to do that. Mm -mm. He'll get it down to 4%. That'd be another $100 on top of your existing benefits. So Joe, make the call right today. Swap cola for inflation. Now, what is... Uh, what is the uh, the Build Back Better situation today for April 19th, 2022? A lot of things going on. Let me tell you everything that's going on. First, we have a new indication today from a series of reports. And I got to tell you, the, the reports are in um, Republican publications that are very sort of conservative slanting. But this was the publications of what they said. Sometimes they're right, sometimes they're slanted. <laughs> they said that the White House is changing approach on its policy to focus a lot on domestic policy because a lot of people are getting exhausted hearing about Ukraine. They want to focus more upon their economy, the U.S. economy, our relief. Um, I think that's a correct reporting because guess what? Look, Let's look at what Joe Biden has done in the last seven days. He has done three things with student loan debt forgiveness out of nowhere after, you know, a year and a half. Suddenly they're getting, they, they're done. They're coming up late in this video. And then we have two stimulus checks taken out of, of Build Back Better Act made law. And who knows? Maybe later today we'll have another thing done by the president of the United States. So I think that reporting is correct in my opinion. Then we have economic data. Economic data is very weak, and the economic data is not good. Now, I said this maybe two months ago, maybe three months ago. I haven't said it in a while, so let me say it today. What you're going to see in the midterm elections is you're going to see Republicans say the economy is stalling. We elect some Republicans. And then you're going to have Democrats say elect us Democrats. Why? Because the economy is stalling. I think this is different than two years ago when this channel launched, where Mitch McConnell said the economy's great, re-elect us Republicans, and we said, no, the economy's not great, it's, it's, it's stalling. Democrats saying the economy's not great. Remember all the data we had then where Republicans said the economy's great and the Democrats said the economy's not great, and, and you and I said the economy's not great. So where's the situation today? I think it's different. I think both parties will say the economy is not great, but we have different situations across the board. The analysis from the political spectrum is that people will vote for the party that shows they're doing something now about the situation rather than the party that says they'll promise to. So actually, the Republicans are not promising anything, <laughs> and the Democrats are sort of trying to get it done. So let me go over what the sort of getting it done is. Of course, it's Build Back Better Act. And Bernie and co. now had this renewed focus on the White House to refocus on domestic policy. And I got to tell you, here is my insertion on it. The report says that the president's going across the country to tell you why the infrastructure bill that was passed is good. I don't need to hear that. <laughs> Sorry, Joe, I don't need to hear that. I'm not very big a fan of that bill. And then he's going to tell us why the American Rescue Plan for 2023 is good. Well, I record that every day. That is the MSC checks. But what about something new from you, Joe? And I think that's where the focus will be. And I do believe that the reporting is correct when they say they think that the vote within the Build Back Better Act will happen in the next 30 days. It, 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 is, it is all lined up inherently clear at this point. In the second half of this video, the great news is that we have two four stimulus checks that, which have landed. Viewers have gotten, countless viewers, thousands and thousands of viewers have gotten them. I'm going to show you how to get it. So you want some money today? You want money today, not five weeks from now, not five months from now, not five days from now. You want money right for today. Get your pen and paper ready. Because after the commercial break, when you go over each of these checks slowly in this live broadcast, and if we even have time, I'll jump in the live chat and answer some of your questions. Then we'll go over to that student loan debt forgiveness. Great news on that front. New student loan debt has new student loan debts have been forgiven. Then we'll be looking at that six stimulus to battle the situation with Vladimir Putin and the recessionary pressures. That's coming up in the second half of this video. 
it's a big morning. But if you haven't become a member, make sure you become a member during the commercial break. Because after the commercial break, we're going to go over those big checks. Those A, B, and she checks and how to get them. They're coming up after the commercial break. How do you become a member? The link's at the top of the channel in the pinned comment. Become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. And then I'll be back with you after the commercial break. Stay informed, stay focused, because the toast is toast and the butter is butter, and we're just getting started on a big, bold, beautiful day. But first, here's a little bit about the members' community page. See you back as Morning's Ally continues. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues right now on a big morning's broadcast live on air from Santa Monica, California. Both, hope your day is going well. It heated up a little bit here today. Hopefully, hopefully it cools down later today. We're going to go over all the incredible breaking news as recessionary pressures continue to grow. Are we in recession? Are we heading in recession? What do you need to know? Then we'll be turning to that six stimulus. The latest details of folding out of Germany and France and why they're not particularly on board with the six stimulus. But does that mean we don't get it? All the latest details on that front as well. Then we'll go with that student loan debt forgiveness. Huge news. But first, we're going to start with those big checks. Three checks have landed, and they are astronomical. They are a four stimulus check, another four stimulus check, and an MSC check. They are check A, B, and C. We're going to go over all these incredible checks right now. And if you're in the live channel and you have a question, jump in there, and I may have the ability to answer your questions in this live broadcast. So a $6,500 four stimulus check became a law on March 31st. Joe Biden did it by executive action. Check A. Then check B, $15,000 to $80,000 became a law on March 4th. Joe Biden did it by executive action. And then check C, an MSC check starting paying in 2021, has now landed. Viewers have gotten it. They have gotten, on average, $45,000. Some have gotten $150,000. But in recent days... They've gotten $2,000 a month over 12 months. Wow. How do you get these checks? Let's go over each of them starting right now. This is where you use your pen and paper. <laughs> check A. It's a $6,500 to $12,000 check. Some say they pay more. Number two. It is a forced stimulus check. It was in the Build Back Better Act. The president took it out. He actually said he took it out. What is it called? It's called the Homeowners Weatherizing Grant Check. Who can get it? Single individual, $75,000 annual income, you qualify. Married couple, $150,000 less, you qualify. And if you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits, you qualify as well. Veterans as well. The last eligibility criterion, of course, is you own your home. Now, when we say homeowners weatherizing grant check, it's important to understand it's a grant. You don't have to repay it back. It's not a loan. It's not income, so you don't have to do anything about it does not disqualify you from benefits. And finally, when we say homeowners weatherizing grant, don't worry about the terminology of what a home is or isn't. Worry about your mobile home not qualified. Don't worry. Just go to the website and apply. And it'll tell you whether you qualify or not. And don't worry about the word weatherizing because it means things in different states. <laughs> you're not going to have surf advisories in Kansas. And you're not going to have tornadoes in Southern California. <laughs> so how do you get this check A? You get this check A very simply. Becoming a member. 
You become a member. The link is at the top of the chat in the pinned comment. Purple Pock, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. The membership of the channel has been around for over a year and a half, and now we're astronomically going through the roof. Thousands of new members every few days. I want you to become a member to get that newsletter Monday through Friday. Why would you not become a member? You, you get the information about how to get these checks. That newsletter comes 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So let's go over that check A and the newsletter. So you open the newsletter, and then you see the first few lines are the wheat, the corn, the oil, and the AAA price of gasoline that day. And then right onto that, it'll say check A, or it'll say the $6,500 weatherizing grant check. Pretty simple, right? And then it'll give you more about the description, the eligibility, more than I can't cover in the video. And then it'll give you the link. It'll say click here. You go into the national website. Then you choose your state like Mississippi. Then you choose weatherizing grant, like Mississippi weatherizing grant. Click it, apply, done. Very simple. You can do it on your phone. You can do it on your cell phone. You can do it on a computer. It is very simple. Now, check B is also available for you as well. That is a lot more money. It is fifteen to eighty thousand dollars, and countless viewers have gotten this check because it's been around a while. Most viewers of this channel are tracking about sixty-six thousand to eighty thousand. What's easy about this one is that when you apply and you're approved, it actually says you're approved. You're going to get funded, and you generally get funded within about. Seven days after that statement that comes in approved. So let's look at that check B, fifteen to eighty thousand dollars. What do you need to know first? Made law by Joe Biden. Took it out of Build Back Better Act. Wow, it's a forcible check. Yes, great news. It's called the homeowner's check. Whoa, and then who can get it? Same eligibility as a third similar check. Single individual, seventy five thousand less. You can get it. Married couple, one hundred fifty thousand less. You can get it. And if your benefits like Social Security or Veterans Benefits, you can get as well. It resembles how to do Chuck A, but it's actually even a little bit easier. So in that newsletter, you open that newsletter, you see Chuck A, you apply. Then right below it in the newsletter is Chuck V. It'll say fifteen to eighty thousand dollar homeowners grant check. It's a longer name than homeowners. Then it'll give you the link to apply. You'll go click the link. You'll go into the national website. Then the national website, you will see a map, a map of the United States. And when you see that map of the United States, which looks a little bit like this, then you choose your state, like Oklahoma. You click the state of Oklahoma on the map. It'll send you right into your state. And you apply. Folks, nothing could be easier and easier. Here's an anecdote. You know what's so easy about this one? Is that you just go click members newsletter, click, the, then you see the map, click the map, your state and there, there's the application. Done. It's so quick that in some cases I have been on the live chat at night and viewers say, uh, in, um, uh, in so-and-so state, they're out of money. And so you know what I do? I open the newsletter. I click and I click again. And I'm like, the website's open. They're still receiving money. Where did you get this nonsense from? Or someone says, um, in that state, they require you to wear purple shirts before applying. <laughs> I said, really? Let me, let me, let me check. Click, click. And I'm there, and literally, just it's as fast as I can click the button, bum bum. I'm there, and I'm like, no, it's it's not it's not the law. I mean, it should be the law <laughs> with a side of bacon, but it's it's not the law. It's that simple. Now, let's go to that check C. Check C is a little bit like check A and B, but it's very different as well. Why? Because with check A and B, you need to click on something. Check C, you don't have to click on anything. You just got to get your phone out. And it could be that old rotary phone in the, in the kitchen that you go, zzz, you, know, you twist and you get your, your, phone, your finger dislocated. You remember that old rotary phone or the old touch button phone? I don't remember. I've seen Google pictures of it. Uh, but this is check C. And it is so simple. There's no excuse for you not to get check C because all it requires is a telephone and your voice. And I know you can express yourself whether you're Madonna or not someone else. Uh, so let's look, that was her song, Express Yourself. Uh, let's look at that incredible check seat. Check seat, what is it? It is a monthly stimulus check. It is third stimulus, which became law in 2021, and is for rent, utilities, and mortgage assistance. Now let's go over how this happened. I've been doing this since 2020 December. And in 20 to 20 December, there was not a lot of money out there. And I said, hey, I need to get you money. So I got people renting utilities. Then late December, I said, hey, in early 2021, Joe Biden's going to have this new thing. I'm going to call it third stimulus. I coined the expression third stimulus, like I joined the expression for fourth, fifth, and sixth, and seventh. I said, I'm going to call it third stimulus. 
And the thing is, there's a lot of money in there, folks, for this for this item. Let me train you how to get it when there's not a lot of it under December 2020. Because when it becomes law in January 2021, you're going to clean up. I told the viewers at the time, I think you're going to give about 15000 They didn't get 15000 They got $45,000. Let's look at the incredible success stories by viewers of this channel. Let's look at the rent. Incredible. Look at the rent that the viewers of this channel have gotten since 2021. Insane. $20,000 to $40,000. Countless viewers from Nisi all the way up to Elizabeth. Nisi's in the live chat every night. She's adorable. Here's utilities, Angela, all the way up to Nancy. Now, Mark's brother in law got $15,000 for utilities. Let's look at the numbers for Snap. Look at those. Mark's brother in law got $25,000 a year over the next year. Over the next 10 years, he's getting a quarter million dollars a snap because he watched this channel. That will be the true legacy of this channel. People walking away with tens of thousands of dollars a snap every year for the rest of their life because they watch this channel. And let's look at those combo numbers. 32,000 the viewers have gotten. The numbers keep on floating in. Lorraine at 105. Now, these are the big numbers. Lorraine was at 105. Now she's at 120. Mark was at... Um, 50,000, then he went to 100,000, then he got check, uh, then he got check B a few days ago, that brought him to over 166,000, so where do you get this check C? It's so simple, why would you not do it? All it requires is a telephone, are you ready? I'm ready. You're going to reach out to your city hall, your city housing authority, your county hall, your county housing authority, your state hall, and your state housing authority. Let me pause the video for there for a second. In recent days, some people have been very analytical about this. And they said, I don't have a state housing authority. Um, yeah, you do. It may not be called state housing authority. It may be called state department of housing. But don't be so literal that you see those words and say, I don't have that exact version. Yes, every state has a housing department. So be, be a little bit flexible with how you apply the information. Let's continue to the next part of where you do. You're going to ask for utility assistance because of COVID, mortgage or rent assistance because of COVID. Now, every state is different that you do not have to generally be behind on your bills. Go pounce and get these big sums of money. Reach out to all six places. And if you're a member, you're going to reach out to more than six places. You're going to reach out to 15 plus places. Put in multiple applications, do multiple rounds. Now, let's say that again. If you're a member... You're going to pounce, and that's how members have pounced. They have pounced by reaching out to 15-plus places because they're featured in the membership newsletter. If you reach out to one and stop, you're not following instructions. See the membership newsletter for more. This is lower on the membership newsletter. That is why everyone wants to become a member. That is why membership is such a success story. We have members on this channel who have been members for 16, 18 months. That is why they pounce because when new checks become a law, you want to get them as quickly as possible. Rely on the nonprofits. They're in the membership newsletter. And yes, the average payout is $45,000. You want to become a member today because guess what? A lot of things happen by the day and by the hour. And when a check becomes law, you don't want to miss it. You want to become a member and stay a member because guess what? There's something changing all the time. Look at these dates on these checks. They just happened just recently, so you don't want to miss it across the board. Become a member. Now, let's go over a little bit more about uh, the newsletter. And let's go a little bit more about pouncing. First, the newsletter. Uh, the newsletter is delivered Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, via the YouTube alert system. YouTube alert system. So, however you have your alerts set up for YouTube, maybe it comes by email, maybe it gives you a, a pop-up on your cell phone. You look for the alert at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, 9 o'clock Central Standard Time, right on the money. Then it'll say something like, new LA Light post, and it's sent to you via you, from YouTube.com. Then the first line of the post will say, the LA Light member newsletter. It'll actually say that. And then I'll have a picture of a guy with a surfboard, and it says newsletter over his face. Pretty simple, isn't it? Yeah, then you click it and you go right in there and you see the complete newsletter from head to toe. Now, Make sure you go to the front of this channel and hit that bell. There's a little bell so that you're subscribed and that you have notifications set to all on, not personalized, all on. So make sure you get every alert across the board. And there you go. Pretty simple across the board. Later in this video, if I have time, I'm going to give you my opinion of uh, 
uh, some importance about pushing. But I also want to have some time to get jump in the live chat if I have time as well. Let's look at what's happening with Joe Biden. Because guess what? Suddenly out of nowhere, he's doing a lot of stuff very quickly. He's done a lot for that student loan debt forgiveness in the last seven days. First, he had initially forgave student loan debt for individuals who became disabled after graduation or went to work in the nonprofit or public sector after graduation. Great. Then, days ago, he said, if you have debts due... In May, I'm going to roll it over to September, so you don't have to pay me back until September. Good. Then, if you have debts in default, then he said, I'm going to take you out of default and make you in good standing. That was a biggie, folks. That was a huge one. And then finally, he said just days ago that if your debts were the result of fraud committed by your university against you, I'm going to forgive it. Oh, my goodness. That is a massive one. That is exactly what Elizabeth Warren was campaigning for for all these months for that seven stimulus, student loan debt forgiveness. When we talk about fifth stimulus, which is the complete reform of the Social Security Administration, uh, the importance of it is that he can make that swap from COLA to inflation right today, but everything else like removing the marriage penalty requires an act of Congress. So a sitting on board on that point, they haven't written the bill at all yet. Next, let's turn to that six stimulus. Six stimulus is a trifecta of Germany, France, and the United States. And that trifecta stemmed from the understanding that the Western allies need to get off of the Russian products, namely oil. Well, Anthony Blinken made that pitch as your Secretary of State to Germany and France. Said, get off on those Russian products. And they initially said yes. No, initially they said no. Then they said yes. And then days ago, Germany said no again. What's important to know here is that Germany's biggest bank private bank, Deutsche Bank, said, you know what, Germany has to give stimulus to its citizens or they're going in a recession for two years. Told you so. Why? No economy is able to sustain the price of oil, wheat, grain, or corn indefinitely as stagflation is no longer the concern. The concern now is recession. And that is what six stimulus is about. Remember, stimulus packages overlap. We're currently doing third and fourth, and we just did seventh student loan debt forgiveness at the same time. We're doing three stimulus packages at the same time, and we're doing six this month. Now, let's go over the part of the equation for six stimulus, which makes us fascinating. First, do we have the trifecta in, in, in lock and key, Germany, France, United States? Don't know. German's chancellor said, no, we're staying on those Russian products. I haven't heard anything since then changing that position. We'll see what the chancellor says this week. Then what about France? It's President Macron is trying to get himself reelected. May not. His runoff is later this month. He did not win two weeks ago. So if they don't do it, what about us? We're going to do it. We have to do it. Because guess what? The price of wheat and corn featured in the membership newsletter every night is out of control. I mean, it's just literally out of control. I started featuring wheat and corn on this channel maybe two months ago. Then I told you it's the highest price point of nearly 10, 15 years a generation. Then about a, two weeks later, I said that Wall Street said it can go 40% higher. Where's the day? It's higher. It's really high, folks. And this is not good. You cannot sustain going to the supermarket and paying for $6 a loaf of bread through the month of May. You're going to recession. What about the price of gasoline at the pump? Today, it's, uh, it's still like 409 410 So it, it's fluctuating in a $0.10 cent movement. It's unsustainable in this U.S. economy over $4. Price of Brent crude, that's actually worse. That's an international price of gasoline. It's been hovering over one eleven in the last 24 hours. Yeah. <laughs> Every time I say that, I laugh. Why do I laugh? Why do I laugh when I say the Brent crude number? Because I just look at Brian Deasy, the head of the Economic Council, the, the Yale guy, and I just think to myself, who taught this guy how to do math? <laughs> yeah, I just I, Every time I look at him and I think about the oil Brent crude, I have to laugh. Why? You understand this better than he does. <laughs> the way that gasoline works is that if you have a shortage of it internationally, the price goes up. There's only 20 barrels available in the world, the price is going to go up. If there's 20 million barrels, the price will go down. Pretty simple. So what did the White House under Brian D.C. do two weeks ago? Where at least some of the strategic reserves of gasoline in the United States, 1 million barrels a day for six months. I said, ain't going to work. Ain't going to work. One, it's not enough oil. Number two, we got to release the, solve the shortage internationally, not just in the, in the United States, because the price of gasoline at the pump is determined by the international price of gasoline. Did it work? It did not work. It didn't work. That's why the price of gasoline at Brent crude is now higher than since when Joe Biden made that announcement. 
In fact, the Western Allies agreed to release some of their strategic reserves. How much did they do? 1.5 million per day combined with the number I told you before. Another half million. So does that work? No. Putin equates for 3 million barrels a day. Gone. And you replace it with 1.5? Yeah, that's simple math. You're only halfway there. It's not going to work. So that is part of the equation of why things need to change right across the board. Let me jump in the live chat. If you have questions across the board about anything, then jump in the live chat and post your informed questions. If you've been watching the video and you have questions about something that you have seen, let me answer them in the live chat right now. Uh, Teresa said the supermarket shelves are sort of empty. Wow. Um, that is really interesting. Thank you for that volunteer of that information. Uh, I have seen some footage in some parts of the country, but that is really interesting. Again, that supply chain. Uh, my, uh, Roland says Michigan, Michigan has been helping people with food. Food shortage is a very big problem. Um, very, very big problem. If you have other questions in the live chat, post them right now. Um, and actually, I haven't seen any questions yet. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's being very kind and 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 uh, and thankful to to one another on this big, bold, beautiful day. Um, someone says, "I need the money in my hand." Yeah, well, if you need the money in your hand, you gotta pounce and do it across the board. Uh, another Teresa says, "Good afternoon from Philadelphia. It's snowing. Wow, you're probably jealous because I'm showing you um, surf footage." <laughs> do you see any other questions in the live chat that you may have across the board? Uh, we don't. So let me jump in with my commentary to end it for today. My commentary to end it for today is that you really have to pounce. I don't have to tell you this because you do pounce. The members of this channel are the people who pounce. You've done so well in getting these master checks over the last two years. In recent days, you've seen some new people arrive at this channel, and their notion sometimes is that you don't want to pounce. They don't want to do much of anything. Uh, doing much of nothing is not a part of the equation. Next, don't create excuses for yourself. There's nothing worse than someone who creates excuses for themselves. I don't own a computer. You don't have to own a computer to get check A and B. You can do it on your cell phone. Uh, I don't, uh, why, do I, why did Joe Biden not take other checks out of the Build Back Better Act and do those as law? Well? That's a great question. Someone asked that. Yes, I think it's Ron. Great question. Um, it's a great question. Don't know the answer, but if there's a check available, cash the check and then ask the question. <laughs> That's my approach to the situation. Uh, number three, um, some people have said things like, um, how many people have gotten these checks um, in, in recent days? Proof is in the pudding, folks. Um, I used to say, if you're in the live chat, post your success story because inspire other people. I thought it was repetitive, so I, did, I stopped repeating it. But if you do have a success story and you're in the live chat, post your success story right now because apparently people do not believe that these checks are enormous. Look at these enormous checks. The proof is in the pudding. These are all viewers of this channel. These are big sums of money. These are people on SSI. These are people on SSDI. These are people across the country. These are veterans. These are all different types of walks of life. These big sums of money are available for you across the board. And with that, thank you for joining me on a big special broadcast of Mornings Ally. Coming up next is uh, Noontime. Is it going to overlap? Uh, oh, <laughs> maybe it already started. I don't know. Uh, I, may I, maybe I butchered that. Maybe Noontime is already now airing on this channel. We will figure it out ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have Afternoons LA and Evenings LA. We're, we're just sort of fluid with the schedule today. Um, but we got new shows all throughout the day. And I'm so excited you're here. If you haven't become a member, become a member right now. Get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We have a lot of economic data that will be coming out this week. And that economic data could signal new checks. Remember, get that check A, B, and C. Go to the top of the chat, pin, comment, become a Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP right today. Stay informed and stay focused. Have a beautiful day. Stay here. And I'll see you throughout the day, perhaps on noontime if it's currently airing right now. Stay informed and stay focused. And stay with Ally for more. <laughs>